It's the most dangerous work you've never heard of. Cleaning out tanks, tanker trucks, rail cars, stackable tanks, and chemical barges. Residue builds up inside, or if there's going to be a switch, then it's time to clean them. Machines do some of the work, high-powered jets that fit into the top openings of trucks and rail cars, but there's often still spot work to do. That's when people climb inside. Experts agree it's inherently dangerous work. There are the chemicals, and there's also lack of oxygen, so the air inside has to be tested first. Most of the time, the work is performed safely, with proper protective suits and masks and plenty of training. There are safety rules from OSHA. Some employers go beyond them. But some workers are getting hurt. Some are dying. OSHA doesn't know where many of these workplaces are, the Houston Chronicle found. The agency has no effective way to search for them. In fact, the Chronicle found that tank and barge cleaning falls into some 40 industry codes. The paper also found that two-thirds of these cleaning establishments haven't had a health and safety inspection in at least a decade. There have been at least 51 deaths in 15 years. But the true cost would have to include illness and death from long-term exposure. No one has looked at that.